human services has a big and ginormous amount of responsibility. As a Head Start alumni, I know firsthand the importance of having a safe and secure facility that is filled with caring and nurturing staff. So when we had an opportunity to partner with Human Services for a Senior um, Recognition Month, it was the first thing we thought to do because these are our family, these are our friends. I'm saying that some people, it's like seniors, they never talk to anybody for the whole day. And when they do come, it's such an enlightenment, you know, to have them say, Mommy, how are you? Everything okay? They have a smile on their face, and they're very warm and welcoming. So it's beautiful. Us seniors, we appreciate it. Tell us about the uh, Dependent Disaster Registry. This is an important registry, and it's not necessarily for services, but it's in the event that there is a disaster, we need to know where you live and what your needs are. CSEP is for low-income individuals between the ages of 55 and over. Personally, my experience, I started last year, March of 2022, and I work as a receptionist of property and procurement. I worked there for one year, and then uh, a position became available at CIS, at the Senior Employment Program for a job coach, and at first I said no, but then I changed my mind and I decided to go ahead and take the position. I can't say how important it is that the DHS Head Start team was able to successfully draw down these funds in order to revamp and renovate the Head Start buildings here in the Virgin Islands. The Foster Care and Adoption Unit provides services to families and children who are in the legal custody of the department we strive to find permanencies for these individuals who can be returned home and be reunified with their family. I'm the executive director of the Women's Coalition of St. Croix. We were part of a team with DHS. Please be alert for victims as being sexual assault. We need the community to stand by us. The temporary assistance of needy family and where we repair all of our clients to enter the world of work. SNAP program known as the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, formerly the Food Stamps Program. We are able also to reimburse for tuition payments, reimburse for childcare. We also have the, the Energy Crisis Assistance Programs. Department of Human Services Medicaid Program is a health insurance plan sponsored by the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid and the Virgin Islands government. Our plan provides quality health benefits to our USVI residents that qualify. If you have a special need, um, a special medical need, or you're living alone and you're an elder over at the age of 60, um, we have the Met Department of Human Services. During my time there with the 10,000 Helpers program, we um, partnered with the Human Services program. We have had and helped many who are mentally ill and who are homeless to get their mental, to get their mental transitioning part done and also the healthcare part done. So I would like to say congratulations and thank you to the Human Services Medicare program and the SNAP program also for assisting the homeless individuals of the U.S. Virgin Islands. Let them know their love, help them out. Uh, I think our senior leadership of and by myself, um, our administrators, directors, supervisors and managers, line staff who, who touch the lives every day, um, not just in a macro practice, but a micro practice, all the way direct services, because we see things that nobody else wants to see on a regular basis.